Hey guys, it's Will here. Just a quick video to tell you about this tofu mayo that I made the other day. It's a recipe from For Real's Life. I'll put a link in the description below the video so you can check it out. But it's pretty easy. I used silken tofu. I didn't use apple cider vinegar. I used white vinegar because I didn't have any. Lemon juice, um, you know, salt if you want. Um, Dijon mustard. And so... And I just use a little magic bullet because it's easy to... Oh, there's a, a third of a cup of non-dairy milk. And um, you can use this on sandwiches, like uh, chickpea tuna or something like that. But what I did was I used to eat this, uh, what I called tuna salad. It was a, basically a pasta salad, but it was shell noodles. And you'd dice up celery, dill pickle, onion, and you'd mix in a bunch of mayo. Um, and there are vegan mayos out there, but usually they're oil-based and stuff like that. So basically, this is a tofu mayo. And if you don't like, like sometimes, once you mix in some of the vinegar and the lemon juice, the, that tofu taste or, you know, the things that people don't like, some people, um, gets minimized. So what I did was I, uh, I cooked up the, the pasta noodles, and rinse it in cold water and then I added the tofu mayo so like I said I just blend it with the magic bullet which is nice it's, you can use a, obviously a Vitamix or some other blender but this is quite nice and it, the nice thing with the magic bullet is when you blend you've got this little plastic container and then you can just put a lid on it so you don't have to like clean out the whole Vitamix with the blades at the bottom and stuff like that so but you know whatever way you decide to do it <clears throat> so I, once I mix that all up it's it's great it's great if you uh, can put the, the pasta salad in the fridge for like a day because it, it just blends really nicely and when it gets cold it's so good and I'll, I'll show a picture of the the tofu mayo that's in a in the magic bullet but just wanted to give you a quick tip uh, like I said I'm not really creating a lot of new recipes right now at this point I've got quite a few so once in a while I do create a new uh, here thing like the soy curls was a video I did recently and that has uh, that's great for adding to stir fries and other things so occasionally I'll share little things that I like with you guys. The baked ramen noodles is another cool one if you want to make soups without the, the typical oil-based uh, ramen noodles and MSG and all that stuff. So hope you guys like this and uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later.